What's up, Viglandia? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm answering a question that I get asked pretty frequently through comments and DMs, and that is about fingers getting caught or hurt while we're strumming. So we're going to answer that right here, right now. In this video, I've sprinkled in a bonus tip about how you're thinking and how that affects your strumming. So stick around for the whole thing to catch that. Okay, so two things we want to talk about is the positioning on the hand and the positioning on the instrument. So first let's tackle the hand part and then we'll go to the instrument. This may or may not be you, but some of my beginner students develop a blister on their thumb because they're strumming with the thumb. The thumb is a very strong finger and so when you start strumming with that one, not only do you get kind of a clicky sound if you're a beginner, because usually you'll, you'll get this, it's too harsh, but that blister develops and it makes it very difficult and unpleasant to strum. So let's shift the strumming a little bit so that you have a more pleasant experience. You can do something like what I do, which is to strum downwards with the hard part of my finger where I have the nail. And when I'm going up, I strum with the fleshy part of my hand. This gives my strum a different sound because I have a very strong downbeat and a softer upbeat. Now, if you want a more rounded strum where everything sounds more uniform, then what you could do is have shorter nails all around and strum this way where it's the fleshy part of the fingers all around. That's okay. As you're strumming, make sure that your hand is relaxed, that you're not having bent wrists, and that you're not thinking of pulling in or out of the instrument. Okay, now let's move to the instrument. When we look at the ukulele, we see that big, beautiful sound hole and we think, I have to strum right over it. And while I'm not going to say it's wrong to do so, it's just not the best place if you're getting caught or getting hurt. The best place for you to strum so that your fingers don't get caught and so that they glide through the instrument is where the body and the fretboard meet. Here you'll find that it's easier to strum and your fingers will not get caught in a sound hole. My ukulele has a cutaway here and even with that I am not getting caught or hurt as I'm strumming. Okay, so now let's go to the bonus tip. This involves our thinking and also the positioning of the instrument. If the instrument is facing you, that's not going to give you a good strum. So make sure that the instrument is facing your audience or out away from you. Same way that your mouth is positioned, right? Your mouth is facing out, the instrument's mouth should be facing out. Now, instead of thinking inwards as you strum, I would like for you to glide down. Think downwards. Think down to the floor. Down to the floor, up to the sky. Down to the floor, up to the sky. That's going to give you a much better sound than if you were thinking in and pushing against the strings. I'm going to take a quick 15 second break to mention my friend's earring company, Go Bangles, because she sent these in. She sent in other earrings as well. They're all super different. You wouldn't know that they're all from the same company. And she gave us a discount code. So if you're interested, go check out her shop. I'm not making any money from this. I really just appreciate her store and that they're so artsy and different and fun. So yeah, check out Go Bangles and use the discount code. Okay, if you made it this far into the video, I want to mention one more thing. If your nails on the strumming hand are curved like this, look up, they're curved like this, those little edges are going to catch on strings. So what you want to do is shave those little edges off, like file them off, so that your nail is more flat. So on the index finger where I strum a lot, my, my, I shave those off, I file those off, clip them off, and... But my ring finger, for example, where I don't really strum, that's really curved. If I were to strum with that one, I'd be like click, click, click with all the strings because it's way too curved. So remove those little edges. Be careful though. Remove those little edges and you're going to glide. Okay, my baby woke up, so I got to go. But I want to mention the Patreon fam. Join us on Patreon if you want to join our weekly lessons via Zoom. I do play alongs and printables and vlogs for my Patreons. So yeah, I'm gonna put them here on the screen down below. A special thanks to all of you for commenting questions that allows for me to make really fun videos for you like this. Keep the questions coming. Alrighty, I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.